Hi Scorpio, how's it going? And welcome to your July general reading. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Scorpio, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Scorpio, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Scorpio, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my love, Scorpio, how are y'all doing? Again, this is your July general reading. Um, y'all know the drill. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Scorpio? Again, for July. Thank you. We have the full card. Yes, there's a brand new chapter. Brand new book, really. It's not even a chapter. It's a whole new book that you're writing right now. Um, it's a whole new journey in your life. This is somewhere where you're, you're being asked to take a leap of faith. You're being asked to jump. And spirit's gonna catch you, okay? So this is a whole new chapter. All you have to do is just take that risk, okay? Um, easier said than done, magician, but this is about something you want. Look at that, zero, one, devil. Yeah, this is something you want really bad. This is something that you want really bad, but you have to, there's some kind of, okay, I just need to go for it. I'm just gonna try it. I'm just gonna go in, I'm just gonna do it. What's been going on with Scorpio, please? Recent past, thank you. Defensive, seven of wands, um, pushing something away, empress, um, maybe not want to deal with a mother figure for some of you, okay? Um, seven of wands, fire energy, we're dealing with some fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is, um, you're resistant towards something, you've been pushing it away, but they're showing me, they go show them that they're up there by themselves, so there's nothing wrong with that but you're, you're pushing something away. Mm -hmm. Someone offering you help? No, I don't want that. Oh, your pride. It's like your pride or ego has been kind of getting to you. That happens, it's okay. What's well, also in the recent past for Scorpio, Eight of Wands to the Seven of Cups, Ace of Wands. So. There's a lot of communication going on. Eight of Wands is a great like social media card. Um, you and people talking online, maybe dating online for some of you, connecting online. Um, this is also beautiful downloads from Spirit. So you're also getting a lot of messages here. Um, and those messages are opening doors for you, okay? You have a lot of um, things to explore. Also with the Seven of Cups in the recent past, I am seeing also, seven, eight, seven, or double sevens might be significant to somebody here, ace of, ace of wands. There has been a new passionate beginning established in your recent past that I feel like at first you were like, I don't know, but then eight of wands, seven of cups, as you're open up to the person or open to the experience, open up, open to the conversation, seven of cups, you realize that there's more options maybe than you thought. What's the current mutual energy for Scorpio, please? What's currently going on? We have the Eight of Pentacles. So again, seven, eight, seven, eight. Could be significant. We have the Four of Cups in the heart of your reading. Uh, water energy, you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Kind of feeling blue, feeling like you're missing out on something. And then boom, we've got the star card, card of Aquarius. Um, this is a high wish fulfillment coming through. That wish fulfillment came out with the Knight of Swords. He's actually been pretty pretty well known in a lot of the, the July readings. The Knight of Swords, strong Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for a lot of you. Um, Six of Pentacles, death card, paraffin back there. So Something currently going on right now, I feel like a lot of you are throwing yourselves into Eight of Pentacles, into work, into more hobbies, more projects, um, more stuff for yourself. It is a focus card, 
but I feel like that focus is almost a um, distraction from what kind of has you down, what has you blue, what has you, feel. it's like FOMO energy, four of cups, feeling like you're missing out on something when you've got three beautiful cups right here, but you're like, but what's next? What's next? What's coming in? That's what you're missing or what you think that you're missing. Star card is attached to a high level, high wish fulfillment. Okay, this is a part of your destiny. When we get the star card, something was written in the stars for you, probably a contract. That's what I heard. Knight of Swords. It's gonna, you're gonna find out about it very, very soon. And whatever that wish fulfillment is, it has a lot to do with the Six of Pentacles of healthy give and take, okay? You getting what you pay, what you deserve in work. You getting that business startup kind of vibe. You getting, you know, connection. You and family, you and a relationship, you and a partner, boom, boom, boom. Um, what you put in, you get back in return. All right, let's get your last two cards out, Scorpio. July for Scorpio. Yeah, there's, like I said, under the star card is this two of wands. So we have the four of swords out and the two of wands, new contract, okay? After a time of something will be expressed here, knight of swords, you'll hear the thing, see the thing, oh my God, I got it, oh my God, there it is, boom, it's exciting. Then you, four of swords, you're gonna sleep on it, you're gonna think about it, you're going to, some of you, I see you praying or journaling or grounding yourself to really see if this is something that you want and that's beautiful it's like you're rechecking back in um, i'm seeing hermit card like with your value system with it does this align does this align for you yes star card but but you have to make sure for you and then we have the two of wands we see you leaving a some destination some place and moving to a higher level okay higher level contract with somebody higher level contract with yourself higher destination, higher paying job, higher something here, beautiful. Okay, and with the world card in your hand, or the world in your hand here in this card, your experience, this is not your first rodeo, this is not the first time you've done this, but you're moving into a higher plane, higher level, higher timeline, yes! You're moving into a higher timeline. We have the page of swords, five of swords, Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. You and someone are getting on the same page after Five of Swords, in, uh, Queen of Swords, after a time of maybe conflict, walking away, not understanding each other. Um, communication, communication, communication. Strong again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female, but the feminine showing up here. This is about you know opening up lines of communication, which is also very similar to that Eight of Wands, okay? Um, I do feel there's an element here for a group of you of this new contract, this new thing, new place, new person, new whatever this is. We'll find out when we go deeper. There's something about it that like in the Queen of Swords, we can only see half of her face. So some people know and some people don't. There's elements of truth and there's still elements that are developing is what I'm hearing here. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's go clarify. Two of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Judgment at the bottom of the deck. When you can take these blindfold, this blindfold off, Ten of Pentacles, Judgment, you step into higher dimension. You step into a higher, more abundance, that Ten of Pentacles, that everything that you're looking for and whatever that means for you. What's this Seven of Wands, Recent Past? This is you. No. No. <laughs> Pushing back, pushing back. Pushing way back. <laughs> I was a cheerleader back in the day. I was a cheer. Pushing back, pushing back, way back. Can't y'all see me as a cheerleader? I mean, duh. I was a team captain, duh. I was. What's this Seven of Wands for Scorpio? It's pushing back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ace of Wands, Queen of Cups, you, relationship energy. Again, we saw the Ace of Wands uh, peek out earlier in your, in your past energy, and here it is again. So someone took a risk, someone put themselves out there, initiated, boom, passion, a new beginning. Um, queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, male or female in the feminine energy. She's my relationship queen. Someone, you, you've been pushing what? You've been pushing away a very loving connection. <laughs> Uh, 
What's this seven of wands? Yeah, devil, Capricorn energy, um, chariot. There, there might have been some delays in the past. Yeah, hangman. I'm like, something's upside down here. Hangman behind that. Water energy again. Scorpio, you're right there. Devil is, this is the devil in the minor arcana. I go, let's clarify this devil. There, you're resisting and pushing something away um, because you don't want to see it fully. This is a mirroring energy. Um, you know, the devil is operating out of fear. You've been saying, no, I don't want this. No, I don't need this. No, 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 because of devil energy. You're saying no to a connection, to love, to a new beginning, because what you'll know. Whatever it is, Eight of Swords, it's something that you're not ready to face. It's something you're not ready to look at just yet. There's a lesson there, Page of Pentacles. Ace of Cups, it's time to open that heart. Um, it's a powerful connection. The Devil and the Queen of Cups are actually beautiful together. That's like a, a very undeniably strong connection. Either, either someone wants to really love you and you're like, nah, or vice versa. You really want to love someone and they're like, nah. What's this Eight of Wands recent past? Lines of communication opening up, social media energy, lots of conversation. Yeah, and I feel like we have a lot of communication cards that came out, exactly. There's that Knight of Swords. So someone spoke up, okay, and said, hey, Four of Cups, I miss you, I'm bored. We have the Four of Cups showing up twice. Someone was really missing you. This could be op opposite. Knight of Swords, you could be like, hey, you know what? I'm going to reach out. I'm going to say that thing. I miss you. Page of Swords. There's definitely, um, and maybe it wasn't a big, long text, big, long conversation. It was just real, it was real simple, real simple new beginning here. Queen of Swords, Six of Swords, Page of Pentacles with this. There's definitely been lines of communication opened either between you and spirit and a plan that you have or between you and somebody else that is definitely ready to move forward six of swords is definitely ready to get out of this like hot and cold up and down kind of energy it's not that and it's not going to always be butter butterflies and rainbows and sunshine all that shit in the future there's also going to be rocky times in the in the future as well but there's something about you and tr someone trying to get on the same page someone you, someone is saying i really just wish i would be understood uh page of swords on the eight of wands you are understood more than you know what is this seven of cups for you confusing what do we do with this where am i going with this look at you six of pentacles death card and this and this deck it's death rebirth and then we have the hangman which to me as a reader some people say this is pisces card I take the hangman as all water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and, Scorp and Scorpio, okay? Confusing energy. Beautiful, healthy give and take. There had to be a rebirth, and someone needs to look at this in a new perspective, which is you. There's, there's a need for you to look at things in a new light. New light. New light. New light. Oh, it's a John Mayer song. Go check. That might be your homework. So maybe you need to hear that song. Uh, I'm going to take one more on the hangman. What's the change of perspective? Page of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Uh, in this deck, the Queen of Swords, her heart is on lockdown. It's in a little jail cell, okay? So this is someone learning, oh yeah, my heart's on lockdown. Oh yeah, my heart is whatever, unavailable. No, it's not. Knight of Cups. You love them, they love you. High Priestess, Five of Cups, Five of Wands. I keep getting over and over, there's more way to have this new beginning. There's more than one way to have this healthy Six of Pentacles give and take in whatever it is that you want. There's more than one way to look at that.
What's this eight of pentacles in your current energy? Focus card, you kind of working on projects, work, health, staying in your lane energy. Three of cups, nine of cups. A lot of cups, a lot of water, two of pentacles. Ace of Pentacles strength card. For some of you, like Three of Pentacles has, or I'm sorry, the, the Nine of Cups has it back to the Three of Cups. For some of you, it's like been a lot of playtime, third party energy, um, that kind of thing. And now the wish is Ace of Pentacles. The wish is planting a new seed strength card, and that's not the easiest thing. What's the seed that you're planting? You keep going back and forth on it. Two of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles holding on. Boom. Eventually, the tower is going to take over. Eventually, the universe will take over. What's this nine of cups for you? So happy. Three of pentacles. So again, there feels like an investment here. Someone wants to invest in you and work with you, and that seems like a wish fulfillment or vice versa. Someone wants to, you want to invest and add on, like you could be hiring, adding on to your group, your team, your community. Power to the chariot, exactly. Someone's investment, someone, someone coming in for real, the money, the, the abundance, whatever it is, it will chariot, it will take lift off, it will make this thing happen for you. <clears throat> Why are you so sad? Four of cups. Just feeling the blues, like I'm seeing here, and literally someone like singing the blues, listening to the blues. Six of Swords, Sun, Three of Cups. You're missing your sun, you're missing your light, you're missing. Um, you could be six of swords is like vacation at a distance, similarly to the eight of wands. So you could be missing someone that's at a distance from you. Um, three of swords is there's a lot of, there's a lot of pain here. Looking at the three of swords, judgment to the lover's card. So again, some of you are not, like you have maybe friends right in front of you, but you don't think that they're your real friends, but they really are. Even some of you have love right in front of you, or you have career opportunities right in front of you, but because of this past pain, yeah, that's causing delays here. A lot of you are, again, kind of scared to fully open to something. And I get that. I've been hurt here before. My heart's been ripped in two before. It's been ripped in three before. What's this sun card for you? Look at it, seven of wands, you're pushing it away. It's that one stick that gets to you. It's that one wand that's like, knock, 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 hello, I'm right here. And you go, no. What's this star energy, Aquarius? Five of Cups, Page of Cups. Oh, this is gonna come out of nowhere. Oh, <clears throat> what's the <this> star? <clears throat> what's the star for Scorpio, please? Page of Wands, Two of Pentacles, and we have the Page of Cups showing up again. Take one more, not Two of Pentacles. Hierophant. So it's like basically you're kind of going back and forth on page of wands, five of cups. <clears throat> I'm seeing like a car. You can either keep traveling. Uh, you're like, say you're on a road trip and you keep traveling and you, every time you stop over and pull and get gas, you just get a little bit. You just get, I just am going to get enough to give me the next town. Or you can fill all the way up. Hierophant, commit, higher level. Whatever that is for you, 
and go all the way. Go to the very top. Right place at the right time. Temperance energy. Healing on this. Two of Cups connection. Someone's walls are up. It's like, do you want things to be just a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit this, a little bit of that? Or you can still have a lot of that, but you can also have, boom, not even the whole world. You can have the entire universe at your disposal. I mean, just like you pick it, you pick, like you figure it out. Like, I'll let you figure it out. I'll let you figure it out. <laughs> Someone needs to know how, you're asking me how, and you're showing me the star card. How can I be more myself? How can I be more, the star, she's butt ass naked, okay? She is, no matter what, warts and all, curves and all, no makeup, all the makeup, whatever. This woman, this divine feminine energy is out there. Even if you're a guy watching, this is just like, it's about being fully seen and open. Let's, that's a message for someone. What is that? How to be, how to be this. King of swords, 10 of swords, king of swords in this deck has two swords, one's gotta go. The lack energy has got to go. Stepping into your power, empress energy is the way to go. Know your worth. All right, let's see what this message is, this knight of swords coming in messenger energy i'm hearing dun dun dun, dun like an announcement <laughs> how fucking beautiful is that the first one out the announcement four of swords someone goes oh, okay it's all gonna be okay it is all gonna be okay there's a lot of healing here someone's heart is being like seen, appreciated again, yours is. Chariot, you're able to move forward into what? The Three of Pentacles, which starts the Ten of Pentacles. This is building your team, building your tribe. This is getting getting whatever it is that you need to move forward, Empress Energy. And what is it that you need to move forward? Your decision. This is, I go, let's cut it. Let's Let's find out what is it that you need to make this decision? What is it that you need to move forward? Ascend. You've already graduated. You've already learned some kind of lesson here. There's like a group of people, like a family, a team. Um, it could be one person, two people, a small group of people that want to see you succeed. A lot of you are being real stubborn. I keep seeing the seven of wands again. No, I, I'm, this is my journey. No, I'm doing this on my own. Yes, this is your journey, but you also have people, contracts that are there to help you. So for some of you in business, this is a like a someone's creative idea, and you're like, yeah, let's run with it, and that's going to start a business, start a team, start a family, start a something. It's a creative idea for a lot of you. What is that? That's what someone's waiting on. Page of Cups, creation energy. What's this uh, Four of Swords for you in your future? It's like I got to think about it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna sleep on it. You're gonna check your worth, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Wands. You're gonna, well, I have been waiting. As I hear you saying, you go, well, well, I have been waiting for this. What's this Four of Swords for Scorpio? Ace of Cups with the Page of Pentacles, and there's that eight, Ace of Eight of Swords. Excuse me. I feel like in your dream stakes, I I see you asleep now, eyes closed, in the Queen of Pentacles, eyes closed. In the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is the student. What are you learning? What did you learn, Ace of Cups? Is that you are love or that you're in love or that you, something around that. Okay, Eight of Swords. When you look at that heart in the mirror, that's what you turn away from it. When you look at that thing in the mirror, why do you do that? Two of Swords, Two of Wands, 
holding yourself back. Open up. Yeah. Full card. When you sleep on it and when you, what's that queen of pentacles about? Five of swords, seven of pentacles, three of wands. When you stop and like smell the roses, when you stop and get into like your worth and like the current moment of now, it's like I see your heart expanding. There's something around your heart opening, your heart chakra, that's like a huge lesson for you. star you make your dreams come true when you're open your heart two of wands clarifying that we have the page of cups um this is where someone's like saying yeah right they like me yeah right that would be it yeah right i would get picked okay we see that when the pigs fly up there, there's person dropping into this other person's reality What's this two of wands? Seven of cups, four of pentacles, five of swords, queen of wands. This is the lower, this is the higher. Yeah, okay. So we're kind of letting go of this. This is the, the, the base where you're at right now. Queen of Wands, very fun, passionate, but you have a lot of headaches. You have a lot of things that are irritating you in your mind. Seven of Cups, it's confusing where you're really at right now. That's what you're leaving behind. This is the lower level energy and you're stepping into this page of cups. Hey, what if, what if that worked out? What if I just released my fear? What if, and getting more into an optimistic energy instead of this pessimistic energy. Very competitive down here very competitive bottom of the deck we have the magician the star and the knight of cups you've asked for this dream you've this is manifest manifestation energy 11 11 or 1 1 1 you've asked the universe for what for your dreams knight of cups he's right there she's right there whoever they're right there like y'all need to know one more thing what is that eight of swords again five of pentacles there's a key in this five of pentacles there's a key behind her so whenever you're ready there's a key for you to grab so that you can face whatever this is within yourself and then boom, Knight of Wands. Then you'll be marching to the beat of your own drum, okay? Um, communication, 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 communication is huge in this reading today. You believing in yourself is beyond huge right now. Um, there's just like a great thing trying to come together and someone's very resistant to it. Um, but yeah, this is about opening up your heart and opening up your world and being truly authentically you, no matter what, okay? I love y'all. Let's do your pick a card. Those that want to join us for the love reading where we connect with your other person, that's the first link in the description box below. <clears throat> and the Scorpio that won the pick a card this time is Mia Sebek. Mia, you are my winner. Okay, so Scorpio, if you want me to pick your card next time, just make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time, I might pick you. I love y'all and thank y'all always so much for your love and support and I'll catch you next time or in the love reading. We've got two more. This is for Mia. Mia, thank you so much for being a subscriber. What messages do we have for Mia? You're learning something right now, Page of Pentacles. You're in student energy, gaining, uh, I'm hearing you're a sponge. You're, you're, you're absorbing a lot right now. You're learning something new. What's uh, for me, I hear? 
Empress, King of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. You have three people out. We have a Mother Energy, Divine Feminine, uh, Feminine Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Masculine, Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Mia. High Priestess. You feel something about this king that he doesn't tell you. He or she is just a masculine energy. You're, you know that this person's like not, there's something up with them. Temperance. Yeah, Sagittarius is card, divine timing um, and healing. We have the Eight of Wands, Ten of Cups. I feel like through positive communication, um, you're going to be very, very happy here. I feel like there is something great coming that you're going to find out that's actually going to make you, I'm going to say, happier than you thought you would. I almost see like you might be a mom with two adult children. And you're getting messages. Something's tied this high priestess to the king of wands. There's something tied to this masculine. They definitely could be a Sagittarian. This person could be a healer. You're getting a lot of messages about this person. All right. Why is the Empress here? Divine Feminine for Mia. Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you're kind of like a single mom vibe. Page of Cups, Five of Pentacles, yeah. I feel like you kind of have, like you have a single mom vibe going on right now. Uh, that might not be fully the case, but you're kind of tired or you're tired of being alone. You're tired of doing something alone. What's this queen? That's too many. What's this queen of uh, pentacles? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you're suspicious that there could be something going on at work, either with you or with someone that you're in a connection with. That's what it is. You're being suspicious or looking at why is this person lying to me? Someone could be lying to you about, ooh, about money, about what they make, something like that. Yeah. But who's this King of Wands for Mia, please? This is a new... Someone new that, but you've also been waiting for this person, but this is like, you had to take a leap of faith with this person. What's this King of Wands about? Yeah, it's like a work tie or business tie, Four of Cups, Tower. There's a lot of transformational energy with this person. What are these messages you're getting? What's this High Priestess about for Mia? You want a relationship with this person, but you, again, three of pentacles, queen of swords, you're kind of, either you, you're thinking this person's with someone else or they are with someone else. And I'm almost feeling like an open relationship. What is that? Yeah, there's three people here. So I feel like judgment, there is some kind of third party. There is some kind of third party, something going on. And one of the three of you super does not want to be in a third party. What's this temperance energy? Yeah, over time, you're going to see your truth. Emperor and emperor will show up and come to you. Yeah, eight of cups with that as well. World card. Um, I'm hearing like an imp this emperor is going to show you like what a real emperor is. Okay. Not, I mean, Kings are great, but an emperor is amazing. So I feel like you do know your truth or you're going to find out, um, who is this emperor for you? Yeah. Two of Pentacles, page of wands. It could be someone you have children with. Um,
Chi going towards Uruwe, King of Pentacles, towards this person can take care of you. And not just financially, but they're very like abundant for you. But I do feel like you're gonna realize that wherever it is that you are now, it's not working for you. And then when you when you decide to emotionally move on or disconnect from whatever this kind of back and forth suspicious third party energy is, boom, you step right into an emperor's arms, okay? Very beautiful, very, very good. You're closing a cycle, very good. All right, if there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. I'll catch you in the love reading or next time. Bye.